I've gone ahead and closed a lot of those files that we had open. Let's start from a clean slate now that we have to work on deleting users. Now where would we look to go ahead and delete a user? One place we could have it if we were listing these users in a sort of table is to have a delete button right here and we could click delete and maybe delete them from this list. Another place we could do it is if you click on a single user Right next to this edit button, we could have a delete button. For this demo, this is where we'll put it, but this technique can be used in any different way and any different place that you'd like. As long as the service knows how to talk to the API, any of our components can bring in that service and use the delete user call. We don't have to create a brand new component for this. We're just going to go ahead and go into user single and work inside of user single component. First order of business, let's add a delete button, A, and we're not going to have it route to anywhere. We're going to have it on click. We'll say delete user. And class is button, button prior, danger, and button small. We'll open user single component JS, TS. And down here, we'll create our new method. We're going to call our service, this.service.delete user. And we'll pass in the ID, which we already have on this.user, this.user.id. And we'll dot subscribe to it. Let's go see what comes back from our API. Go to recres. Down under delete, this is a delete HTTP verb. It looks like our API is going to return nothing here. And that's totally fine, we'll just keep it that way. But subscribe, we'll just call this generic data. And here we would probably want to route back to the users page. We can't stay on the current page since that user should no longer exist. Since we want to route a user, we'll go ahead and grab the router. We already have an import from the router, so we'll add on to that. Import router. We'll break this apart since this constructor is getting a little long. Notice we're bringing in route, which is the current route, so we can get information about our current route and the router, which is the tool that we're going to use to route and navigate in our application. Here we'll do this.router.navigate and we'll pass in that users here. Delete user is not created yet. We'll go into user service. And this is the last one of our API calls, I believe. Yep, we have get all, get single, create, update, and finally delete. We'll have an ID, which is a number, and it returns nothing, so we can just leave that blank. Return this.http.delete, and it's a delete call. This.users URL and we'll pass in the user.id, no payload, and this isn't user ID, we're just passing in the ID since that's what is we passed in here. There's nothing to map here, we'll just catch this.handle error if anything goes wrong. Let's give that a shot. We have a delete button, our class didn't take, let's make sure that works. We have button and we spelled danger wrong. Let's go into user single component. What I'd like to do is just make sure we console log user was deleted, just to make sure that everything is working fine here. Let's go back. Users one, we can see our user will delete. User was deleted and we go back to our users page. Let's check that network tab. We have users 
And this is our get call from this component, user list. We'll go back one. This is the delete. It was a 204 content status, which is exactly what we wanted coming from our API. If we look, 204 is what we wanted. Preview, nothing comes through since the API didn't return anything. So everything is working perfectly. And that's how simple it is to delete a user. We just created a button and wired it up to a method which was wired to our service delete user. One thing I'd like to note, if you wanted to be really specific about your user service and you wanted to actually say this method returns something and we're in the wrong place, we'll go to user service and you wanted to make sure this returns something, we would say that returns an observable which we know to be true and any is inside of it. All right, that will handle all of the CRUD operations that we need. Next step, let's move forward. We'll do a little bit of component from parent to child and child to parent communication. Then we'll handle the login, which we'll do a little bit more and show some concepts for token-based auth, which I think is important to HTTP.